All right, on to part five of episode two. Now we are entering the dorms to try and find uh, Drew, I think it is, who owes a thousand dollars to Frank. Hmm. We left the keys in the door. All right, which one is Drew? Got another alert. The fire is now 50% contained. Drew's there room. are new road closures, but I think they're gonna, I think they're gonna fix it. Is this it? It's a neat room. It's weird to see a TV above a microwave. Do we think he really has that much money on him, though? Elliot's mom seems nice. Oh wait, we're in Elliot's Lucky room. Lucky Dana. <laughs> yeah, why? Wait, why There's are we in Elliot's room? This is uh, that... not the right place. I don't think so, at least. All right, time to get out of here. Whoops, thought it was Drew's room. It's weird that people just leave their doors open. Anything? I don't think that's where we're supposed to go. That's it. Find Drew's room. Alright, I'd say it's this one. Doesn't seem like he's in here. Okay. Kind of messy. Good. <sighs> Drew's not here. Okay. <laughs> Time if to find some I money. I Drew. Where would I hide my money? Guess these people don't have debit cards or anything. Hello? No. In here? Is the money in there? Mm. Oh, it's a oh, combination. Right. Guess I have to crack a four digit code. Is it on here? A lot of numbers on here. Would Drew really use something like this for a lock combo? Well, I'm gonna figure out the combination and be right back. All right, did we get it? 1227? Yes! And we got it. This is kind of fun. Please, the money's got to be in here. Oh. Did little Drew beat you up too? No, the money's got to be in that dog. <sighs> Jackpot. Oh, guess it's not. I'm kind of good at this. We didn't even check how much money it is. We're going to get busted for sure. I have a feeling he's just going to walk in. Okay. Got the money. We're good. Time to bust out of here. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Hey, Elamon. Chloe? What are you doing here? I was <laughs> looking for your oh, brother. Oh, his brother. Yeah, uh, he's not here. The rude so. one. Why? Bro, we gotta go. Yesterday wasn't enough. You wanna go another round? Doesn't matter. Mikey, get your stuff. Let's move. What? What's going on? Drew, relax. Slow down. Is it the guy that's coming for the money? Shit! You're making me think you're nervous about something. Yeah, what's going on? Who the hell is that? No one. 
Stay in here and don't say anything, little brother. Whatever you do, don't open the door. Hmm. You know what's going on? Damon, you shouldn't have come here. School's not the place for this. Really? Where is the place to collect my fucking money? Shit. Oh. I told you, I don't have it. Sales are down, man. Nobody wants to get high right now. But look, it's spring season. We just started two-a-days. Those are going to kill us. I'll be able to sell all the oxy you've got. Drew, you owe me a grand. Where is it? I said I don't have it right well, now. Well, he doesn't have it. He's not lying about that. But I heard about your it. dad's job, by the way. Tough times. Yeah. Bet a grand would mean a lot to him right now. Hmm. Where's my money, Drew? I don't know what you expect me to do. I can't just make money appear out of thin air. Oh, I want my fucking money! Oh. You don't have to hit me, man. I'm gonna... Uh, Where is it? Uh, Please! Just give me one week. Uh, You're just going to lie there? Oh, shit. I thought football players were supposed to be tough. <laughs> Sorry to have to do uh, this, kid. No uh, one steals from me. Uh, no one. Like a thousand dollars? That's crazy. Fuck. This is a big decision here. Mm. And give the money. Stop! It's okay. I, I, I've got your money. Ah, I didn't realize we had an audience. Hey, Mikey. Okay. Who the hell are you? Frank sent me to collect. That's what Frank was going on about? Wait, are you the bitch who tuned up Sheldon? That guy <laughs> at the mill? Uh, it doesn't matter. So what? He'll recover. Anyway, I'm here, and I've got the money. Frank was right about you. Let's see the cash. Oh no. Something's gonna be, it's not gonna be a lot or something we like that. We need that! Oh! <laughs> wow. It's all here. Mikey, you need to help your big brother. Help him understand that I take this shit seriously. Come on! Mikey's got nothing to do with this, man. You help your brother understand that if he steals from me again, I'm coming back here and I'm going to break his knees. Thanks, Ouch. kid. Tell Frank I owe him one. Wow. I feel bad. We needed that money. You just screwed us over. Are you crazy? That guy could have killed you. You don't know anything about this situation. It's none of your business. <sighs> hmm. Yes, it is. Mikey's my friend. I don't want him to get hurt. You think you're some kind of hero? Stepping in for poor Nathan Prescott? And now you're messing with our lives? <sighs> Mikey. I gotta look at your arm. He literally Just leave us slapped alone. him. Why is he holding his arm like that? Look. I'm sorry. Sorry doesn't get our dad off the streets. Does it? Dang. We'll be okay. I feel like we did the right thing, though. I feel like it could have gone a lot worse if he he if he didn't get the money that he needed.
Alright, what's going on now? Oh, we're going to the play! Kind of forgot that was happening today. We should be near the end of the episode. I feel like it'll end with the play happening. It's a cool outfit. Wonder if it's starting anytime soon. This day has been so messed up. Steph. What? She's on her way to the hospital. Mikey's arm is broken. Drew told me what happened. I didn't know it was this bad. The situation's messed up. Let me know if there's any way I can help. Thanks, I will. And that's before How did having he to watch break Victoria his arm from butcher Rachel's slapping role. him. At least I can be here for Rachel. Did Doug if did I can find her. David's Hey, Dana. Did Doug dig David's garden? Or did David dig Doug's? Did Doug dig How David's garden? Now. Or did David did Doug Alrighty. dig David's garden? That's cool. Or did David dig Doug's? Swim poster, another poster, drug poster. RA will suck as Prospera. If VC had any talent, maybe she would have gotten the part. Hmm. Talent? Is that what got Mr. K to cast you, Celette? Guess they don't call it drama for nothing. They're having a fight in writing. Is she looking at the corner hey, of the wall? Shh. Okay. Nathan, please. But I can't do it, Dad. I'm sorry. Keep your voice down. Hey, Hayden. Now listen to me. Address me as Ferdinand, good lady. <laughs> uh, all right. Okay. Um, hey, Ferdinand. Sup, Chloe. I mean, sup, fair maiden. Great. Uh, method acting. Really? Thanks. Next, what's in here? Boys changing tent. Oh, okay. Yeah. Thanks. Don't want to go in there. No thanks. No way in hell. I'm going up on that. Oh, stage. that's the stage. We glitched out. Oh, I thought we glitched out for a sec. We're good. Light board. To play the light board, and then she just sits on there. Firewalk. Laser light spectacular. Uh, I see. <laughs> Very cool. All right, where is interesting Doug stuff? Rachel says, how's your long errand? Crazy stuff happened in Drew's room. Really bad. You okay? Do you need to talk about it? Yeah, later. Too many people around now. I'm backstage. Great. On my way. All right, Rachel is coming to meet us here. Sup, Mr. Keaton. Why? If it isn't the muse of the Blackwell Drama Department. Tell me, young lady, do you still believe true love exists? <laughs> sure, I think so. But it's a lot weirder and scarier than poets and pop songs make it out to be. <laughs> you might be surprised, my dear. Budding dramaturge, may your propitious appearance counteract the tragedy of Stephanie Gingrich's sudden recusal. An emergency, she says. No idea what he's talking about. <laughs> Word. Stephanie Pretty was sure our lion of the neither. light board, but platitudinal though it may be, the show must sojourn forth. Oh, we're gonna have to help with the lights. That dude is weird. So I'm wondering, what if we just go and play with the light board again? Is he gonna notice and be like, hey, you're doing a great job. You should do the lights. Or maybe not. Guess not. Okay. Of all the possible scenarios involving Victoria Chase and swords, this one is easily the least exciting. Cool. After all the work Steph did, it's 
amazing that she would drop everything to be there for Mikey. There's nothing else to do. No way in hell I'm going up on that stage. Do we just have to wait for Rachel to come back, I guess? We checked out that, we checked out that, we talked to him. Oh, the girl. I should find Rachel. Rachel? Come on, V. You got this. You got this. She got a little stage shit, fright. Shit, shit! I can't do this. I'm going to ruin the play. What is that? Drinking tea? What are you two doing How here? How did she not appear in the mirror when she's standing right behind her? Oh. Or did you She's forget? Too. You let this loser dropout sabotage you. But really, I should be thanking you. Now I have everything I wanted. And you've got a new friend. So I guess we're both doing great. Does she realize now, that please, ladies, we so were literally just listening to her mental breakdown? Even though I wish I was the one performing tonight, Victoria, I really am happy for you. I hope it's everything you want it to be. We both do. Right, Chloe? <laughs> yeah, let's be supportive, whatever. Yeah, I guess. I mean, even if you are super lame to me all the time, I hope you don't completely suck up there. And even if you do suck, who cares? I mean, let's be real. You're not Rachel. But that's okay, because you're Victoria Chase. You know? Even if you suck. <laughs> uh, oh my god. Oh. Thank you. Oh, that's Dude. exactly what I needed to hear. Oh, Price, that was epic. You distracted her just long enough for me to slip those pills into her tea. Oh, crap. I did. Oh, hey, uh, that's mine. The tower is a tarot, you know? It symbolizes Wait, sudden what's change. In the tea? I always pegged you for the dramatic type. I blame the company I keep. Oh, okay. I better start getting into costume before the- Sweet pardon me, dude. We're ruined. The show is ruined. That was quick. Was quick. My dear young artists, a misfortune most unkind has befallen us. Juliet is waylaid. That infernal inferno is the culprit, closing down the roads and robbing us of our aerial. Ooh. Would that she could but manifest on her master's whim as a true spirit. Alas, devoid of an understudy, the situation is a dire one indeed. I'm afraid we may have to cancel. All because of a fire. Truly, we are a cursed lot. Even my prodigious imagination cannot conceive of a worse turn of fate. <laughs> oh Touché. man, gets better and better. Mr. Keaton, perhaps I could fill in for Victoria? My dear, your visage is as a vessel sent by the heavens to offer passage to my stranded soul. But I'm afraid without our Ariel, all is still lost. What's he talking about, Ariel? What? Uh, oh, oh, he means the light. No. Mr. Keaton, no. Chloe could step in for Juliet. No fucking chance. At least until the road's clear. The romantic. She's the right fit for Juliet's costume. She Wait, is indeed. Maybe not. She's Tell me, my dear, have the you play. ever acted before? Hell no. She's being modest. We play improv games all the time. And she's fantastic at it. My dear. What if I told you that the entire fate of the production oh. rests upon your slender shoulders? That's a lot to take in. I'd say you're super fucked. They're just fucked. leaving Victoria Chloe, on the ground right please. there. Please, for me. I like how nobody <sighs> is paying attention to Victoria just Damn on the it. ground. That's gonna I can't be good. believe Rachel's talked me into this. And I guess we'll uh, 
leave the next part for the next part of the series. So, I'll see you in the next one.